Girl is back, Nerdy Girl Reviews, and we are back based on our intro. Hope it's pulling at nostalgic strings. And just like that, now streaming on HBO Max. If you'd like to see the full commentary, give me clicked here on YouTube. If you're watching this on Instagram, click the link in bio. And if you'd like to see my other reviews, you can catch me on sofritoforyoursoul.com. Stay tuned. Now, since this is, a, this is a New York story, and me being the New York person that I am, and pop queen, let's get into a little bit of a little coffee. You know, this is, it wouldn't be, it just wouldn't be New York without the quintessential coffee cup, right? But I'm not going to mess up my uh, lipstick, so I got myself a nice little pretty straw. Que rico. Cafecito with un poquito de leche y azúcar. Get into it. <laughs> and yes, I am a fanatic of Sex in the City. So let's get into a few prop things and then we'll get into the commentary. Are we good? Let's do a little multicolor. A little mix up of multicolor. Hold on a sec. How oh, I know I don't got to do this, but I just want to prove that I ain't talking just BS. So I want to get into. One of, and now this is memorabilia. Now I don't know necessarily if this will ever, you know, amount to a lot of dough, but it it pulls at the nostalgic strings, which coincides to what I said in this intro. So now I don't have the purse, the purse book, because that was sold out like hotcakes. And let's add on that it was really expensive. So I got just the standard book. But as you can see, you, we have our beloved Sarah Jessica Parker. And again, if you were a fanatic of this show, you knew every episode, you knew. You knew what these pictures meant. I mean, hello. Do we not remember the coats? The coats. They were, these were like their liner notes, set notes, uh, backstory. Oh, Charlotte, her wedding gown her first wedding I mean we have all of the breakups the scene setups and this this book will always mean everything to me so I have it in my stock room with all my other props <laughs> let's get into the other memorabilia before we start the classic DVDs and this doesn't even count the amount of downloads that I already have with my favorite episodes but this is when people used to buy Please buy DVDs again. I don't think I can ever part with them. I just can't. So, the first Sex in the City movie soon after the show wrapped. This was the best one, honestly. The second one I never purchased because it just I wasn't a fan. But the first movie, yes. So we have the film and dun dun dun. dun. How many of y'all can tell me that you have this Sarah Jessica Parker? Hailing a cab in her cabby shirt, okay, and her legendary flower um, accessory, Sex in the City. This is when, like, Sex in the City was already starting to take off, and HBO needed, you know, as much promote. Oh, didn't need. They had all the promotion for this show, and it was everywhere. So, yes, I was able to snag this. Thank you, HBO. So, <laughs> You are part of my memorabilia storage room. And now let's get into the whole, and just like that. Let's have a little bit of Morning Wood. It was part of Sex and the City's movie soundtrack. I loved Morning Wood. Um, I wonder what happened to Morning Wood, but they were a really cool New York centered um, band. And when you hear this song, especially when it's playing in that thing, you're like... I still love it. Anyway, <laughs> now, I, if I look familiar in the sense of what I have on, uh, 
obviously I am modeling myself after episode two. We'll, we'll get into that in a little bit. But please don't clock me because yes, I know that Carrie is wearing um, pearls in that particular scene. But I am wearing these lovely nails for a Christmas party later on. And though they do look very lovely, they have these like jewel appliques and whatnot. I was not impressed. It is by Impress Nails, Press on Nails, and they don't have the standard glue. You can go glueless because it has an adhesive. I was not impressed. I'm sorry because one of the nails popped off soon after. I'm sure people could say, well, you didn't press firmly enough, but I was not impressed with that. You know, I still am vouching for faux nails from Five and Below. My nails lasted at least three weeks with that, um, with that particular set. This. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Now, um, with the first episode, I believe it's called Hello, uh, Hello, It's Me. Um, and it's an introduction back to what we already know, giving us also a quick run through of who's going to be in the cast for this season. And remember, and just like that, was uttered in nearly every episode when Carrie was at the keyboard, I mean, at, the, at her laptop. And um, there was always an ellipsis because it always meant uh, whatever that she's coming across in terms of her our, um, column, personal column, um, it would lead into the purpose of the episode. So now they just scratched the sex in the city and now it's just called and just like that. Um, but we are introduced to new characters and we embrace our beloved characters. We have uh, Willie Garson. Um, which plays our Stanford, and um, our Chris Noth, who plays Mr. Big. We have all the goodies, all oldies and goodies. We also have David Einberg. Again, forgive me with the last name if I'm butchering it. But please, Steve Brady, remember Steve, Miranda's husband. So we have, and we have Evan Handler, who plays Harry, Charlotte's husband. And we see all of these characters coming back and a new introduction to the new cast. Uh, we see that the children in, in every girl's life, they're growing, they're teenagers, um, close to being adults. And we also have the introduction of a few new characters. You know, we needed to update Carrie's um, column. And since, yeah, we've gone, we've transitioned, we are no longer super newspaper avid readers. Um, so, because of most people have transitioned onto online. So, so it would make sense, perfect sense, that Carrie would do the same in terms of her career. So, now she's on a podcast talking about her personal choices in life. Uh, and her boss, um, who's played by Sarah Ramirez, uh, her character's name is Che Diaz. And it's our first introduction of a Latina, non-binary actress, actor. So, um... Yeah, we have that. That's new and refreshing. And um, they have a podcast that I think it's called X, Y, and Me. And uh, it gets as raunchy as it can get. And you can see a little bit of hesitation in terms of um, Sarah. Because although it was groundbreaking, and again, if you've been watching the show since its inception, she was out there. She was really out there. But I think with time... And, and I think um, the creators of the show wanted to make an, make that a point that when you're in your 20s and your 30s, you don't care. You know, you know you're fine. You're figuring life out as is. So there isn't a filter on your life. Um, you basically are bold and depending, depending on who you are as a 20 year old. But Car Carrie's character had always been a free spirit. So and she was not shy about advertising about her love experiences. But uh, once marriage was introduced and children and her friends' lives, her life started to kind of become more PG as opposed to maybe NC-17 or X, you know, so or even R-rated. So it started to kind of, um, you know, not that she turned into a Susie homemaker, but in a way, yeah, you know, it was just her and Big and then her experiences and so... Um, Che kind of tells her to like step it up, you know, can't just have you sitting there giggling and stuff. We, we need your contribution. So she's daring enough to want to explore certain things with her husband, Mr. Big, John. And you can see she's still living in that beautiful uh, high rise 
penthouse um, apartment, which none of us can afford, and that beautiful collection of Malona Blahniks and, and, you know, just endless amount of clothes, um, which also I want to point out that I want to point out that we get the introduction of Carrie's wardrobe and, of course, her signature rose. I hope you can see this on camera. I also bought this purse around that time. Uh, I thought it was just delicate and dear and very much reminiscent of Miss Carrie Bradshaw, Sarah Jessica Parker's character. Um, 